Dixie for the community. Yeah! Fluffy Primer by That Welk. This primer has been penned in the hopes of giving new members of the community a pattern to work off of in regards to drawing a generally acceptable fluffy. It is not exhaustive and by no means definitive, but it should help budding new artists along their path in some meager way. This primer does not describe heroes or protagonists. The fluffies shown within are the average garden variety sort that might pop up in an alleyway or a pleasant meadow, or maybe your back door. There are exceptions with all things, but you won't find them here. A fluffy is a smallish, rotund, artificial mammal, almost completely covered in long, chromatic fur that tends to fluff up, exaggerating the round build. Their rounded muzzles and soft hooves tend to poke through the fluff, but this is by no means the rule. Their manes come in the same multi-hued colors and a variety of styles, the origin of which are often a mystery. The coloration of the fluffy can at some times be completely random, and others be complementary and quite fetching. Not all fluffies are as appreciative of these colors as others, though. Yay! Will we keep fluffy business hoodies? <laughs> fluffies are very soft-hearted, compassionate creatures. They very easily form bonds with just about anything that moves even if said thing isn't necessarily alive. This combined with their low intelligence and lack of abstract thought can get them into dangerous situations. How they handle these situations and how successful they are is entirely up to you. Fluffies are creatures of passion. They love running around and playing with toys on each other. They love singing and dancing and creating art, though they are rarely ever actually any good at it. They love huggies, love, babies, skeddies, and their owners that they call daddy or mommy. They can be a little difficult to understand, even though they technically speak English, owing to an unfortunate list and an even more regrettable vocabulary, or more specifically, the lack thereof. Their grasp of the rules of the language are loose, and they completely lack any first-person pronouns. Instead, substituting I with whatever title they most closely identify with, such as Fluffy, or Mummy, or simply their name if they happen to have one. Fluffies love to chatter and babble, despite not being very good at it, and will often go on and on about the things that it likes or that interests it. Some of their favorite words are play, baby, and skitty. They're just pick it. Fluffy content as a whole is broadly separated into four genres. These genres are imprecise, relying more heavily on the interpretation of intention rather than actually content, but only at the edges. So long as you keep to the pure presentations of each box, they're fairly straightforward. Hogbox, don't question where the box came from, is all the cute and cuddly content. From sleeping falls to feel-good rescue stories to two fluffies in a loving and healthy relationship, anything that gives a warm, fuzzy feeling will likely fall in this category. Weird Box is characterized by the random and implausible. Is your fluffy actually a collection of smaller fluffies piloting a robot? Do your fluffies reproduce via explosion? Do you like drawing anthros? Then you may be a Weird Boxer. Bear in mind, however, that Weird Box is not carte blanche to separate yourself wholly from what fluffies are. If what you're seeing is a fluffy in the name only, is it really a fluffy? Best wishes, <laughs> Sad Box is the essence of tragedy. Every rainy day, every forgotten anniversary, Every hurt feeling, every untimely demise, every tragic sacrifice, and every disappointed fall goes there. As with every box, the intensity of the piece is up to you. Anything from stopped hooves to the violent end of a bloodline is included, provided that there is no malevolent human interaction and the events be treated as tragic in nature. It's not sad if it's treated like a joke or somehow justified. Abuse, don't question where the box went, is about schadenfreude. 
It's about making a cartoon animal have a worse day than you. Psychological torture, body goals, and examples of gross intentional neglect all go here. This category is characterized by the presence of human intervention. A story can have fluffies falling from the sky and being dashed upon the rocks, but if no human presence exists to explain these events, then it's simply tragedy, not abuse. Artists and authors should not bind themselves strictly to these classifications. It's very likely and even natural for a story to be sad box or weird box or hog box and abuse. My advice is to simply tell the story you're trying to tell, then see where it falls afterwards. As you continue to read and write and draw and view art about fluffies, you'll be exposed to more and more new ideas. Each has their own merit and so far, as you believe they have a merit. Don't let what one artist does keep you from pursuing your own vision. You'll come to find that many of the most popular tropes and settings simply don't work when you put them all together. Pick and choose what you like and respect others as they do the same. Huge thanks to Cookie Crunch, Carnivious Duck, Grim and Godzilla for their incredible contributions to the primer. Dragonixa, signing off. <laughs> the coloration of the fluffy can at some times the coloration of the fluffy can at some curva much <laughs> and at others be and at <laughs> and at others and at others be complimentary and quite fetching. We were playing hide and you're flying and you're fluffy. <laughs> you were playing hide and you're fight fluffy. <laughs> so cute. <clears throat> Provided that there is no mal. I never know how to pronounce ma malvoid. Ma fuck. Can we do the same thing? Malevolent. 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 Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Abuse. Don't question where the box went. It's about. What the? Shut up. What? What? Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude? Is this how it's pronounced? What is that? What did you type in here? Shut up, Linda. What is this? Schadenfreude. 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 Okay, I'm gonna pronounce it in a German way, I suppose. <laughs>